in every state and you've got, you know, what you're required and then the extra that you can get. So yeah. let's talk a little bit about auto insurance because everybody wants to save money, right? So right. they're like, do you want this? Nah, 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 I don't need that. Right. So with your expertise, talk us through a little bit about the coverage that we have to have and the coverage that we probably want to have. Well, in the state of Florida, there are only two coverages that are required by the state, and that is $10,000 of property damage and $10,000 of personal injury protection. That's all that's required by the state of Florida. But that really doesn't protect you against third-party uh, liability claims for bodily injuries, and it doesn't protect your property, which is your car, that you've probably invested quite a bit of money in, in purchasing. So those are the required coverages. The coverages that you would want to include is bodily injury liability. Uh, the state only requires property damage liability. And you'd also want to include comprehensive coverage and collision coverage. So collision coverage would cover damage to your vehicle if you uh, are in a loss. Um, and collision is going to cover damage to the vehicle. And that's typically any act of God, so flooding. Um, <laughs> We're back to flooding. Yeah, if you were to fall and hit your vehicle, uh, right. that would be covered under oh, yeah. comprehensive coverage. And then another big coverage you really want to consider having is uninsured and underinsured uh insurance. And the reason being is there are quite a few people that are driving around with just the state minimum. And if you were to get involved in an, a loss with them, they don't have the appropriate coverage to uh, cover some of your damages. So this is, again, protecting you against people that are driving around uninsured or underinsured. The other thing about uninsured and underinsured motorist coverage, it will help you um, for your injuries. And in the event that you you are uh, uh, unable to do your regular uh, uh, activities through Like life. walk the dog, mow the yard, yes. this, this, clean that, the house. That coverage can assist you with getting uh, help there. So walking the dog and mowing the yard, it would yes, help cover it, that? it would pay to hire someone to assist you to do things like that. If it is something that is your regular activity and you have the uninsured, underinsured motorist coverage, that uh, coverage could afford you um, assistance there. So am I hearing you correctly, if you have the state's minimum, yes. you still are considered underinsured. Underinsured. Because you're not carrying enough coverage for uh, potential damages. To connect with a licensed Vistar insurance agent, click on the QR code or go to ViStarCU.org.